Okay, so today we are finally installing the turbo kit for the BRZ. <laughs> this is going to be so interesting. We got new line. We got old. I think we're ready. On this channel, we'll just skip straight to when it's done. The install is going to be on their channel, Speedhouse. It'll be in the description. Um, if you want to watch it, I don't know. I'm ready. I'm nervous. It smells like dog food. <laughs> it does smell like dog food, though. <laughs> It's finished. We drove it back. I data logged that. So I guess technically this is the first revision. It's still on 91. So far so good. We only had the coolant return lines leaking. Other than that, everything is solid. Are you ready? No leaks? Nope. Second gear pull from 2800 to 6800. And we don't have a coolant overflow tank, so this will be interesting. <laughs> this first real pull, 28, it's like right there. Here we go. That's way faster. Way faster. Holy cow. Okay, so that pool, I'm on 91. He said, Zach, that he will tell me when we're ready for E85. I guess we have a lot more data logging to do before that. But right now, because we don't have a coolant overflow tank, I'm gonna chill out. I wanna keep popping the hood and make sure stuff's not coming out, but it's gonna come out. Shout out Eric. So he was super nice helping me, sending a bunch of photos and whatever stuff I needed to the research. On these kits, for automatics, it sucks because everyone has a manual. No one does this to an automatic. So super cool that he helped out. I can't even believe that this is just the first revision. I can't imagine, you know, coming up. I'm gonna do one more. One more baby one, ready? 28. So much faster, so much faster. And this is an E85. I'm guessing right now we're pushing to 250 ish, 250 horsepower. Yeah, that's it. I kind of just wanted to make the first pull in the turbo BRZ. Then make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.